<laughs> hey, what's going on guys? We're so glad you could join us for another Instagram TV video. We're going to continue these for as long as quarantine is happening, so hang in there, we're almost done. But once again, thank you so much for joining us and we're so glad you can watch this. Make sure you share this video with your friends and family, repost it on your story, anything you need to do so that as many people can watch it as possible. We're trying to reach as many people as possible, so just message us with your thoughts and comments if you like these or not. But today we want to talk to you about some things that are personal um, and close to us. So during this quarantine, we've missed a lot of people and over this month and a half or so that we've been in quarantine, we've had a hard time adapting. You know, we miss people and we can only see a certain amount of people, those people that you live with, your family, you can't see your friends and it gets hard. You know, and that doesn't mean that you don't love them. Just because you can't see them or be with them does not mean you don't love them. Most of you are probably dying to see your best friend or dying to see another friend or family member. And just, just like that, we have to be very intentional with our relationship with those people, reaching out to them and letting them know, hey, I still love you. If you need anything, please let me know. We let you guys know we're always here for you. And just the same way as we need to communicate with those people and show them that we love them and still talk to them and let them know that we care about them, we must do the same with God. Just because we can't meet with God in a physical building right now does not mean that we should not still love Him. It does not mean that we should put him on the back burner and forget about our relationship with God. We should always strive to be closer and closer to God. And what better way than when you're isolated, when you're by yourself, when you have nothing else to do than to get closer to God. There is so much you can learn through this quarantine just by spending a few minutes with God. And I encourage you, now that you have a lot of time, spend 20, 30 minutes with God and you will be blessed. He is with you always. His name is Emmanuel. And Emmanuel is a Greek word for God with us. It doesn't mean God was with us before. It doesn't mean that God will be with us at a later time. It means God is with us now and he will always be with us. So our first point to you is that God is with us on the mountaintop. Now, what is a mountaintop? A mountaintop could look like when things are going perfectly fine, when things are going according to plan, when you got the shoes that just dropped, when you got the new AirPods that you've always wanted, maybe you just have a great relationship with your friends and family and nothing is going wrong. You have no worries in the world, your grades are straight and you're just perfectly fine. That could be the mountaintop. I'm gonna read to you Psalm 139 verses five through 12. And this is the message translation. I look behind me and you're there, then up ahead and you're there too. Your reassuring presence coming and going. This is too much, too wonderful. I can't take it all in. Is there any place I can go to avoid your spirit, to be out of your sight? If I climb to the sky, you're there. If I go underground, you're there. If I flew on morning's wings to the far western horizon, you'd find me in a minute. You're already there waiting. What David is trying to explain here about God is that not only is he with us, as in sometimes we can physically feel his presence, but he's literally inside of us. He is with us wherever we are. We carry him with us. And I just think that's so incredible. These verses right here literally describe that not only is God with us, but he's also in front of us, behind us, beside us. He's everywhere. So that brings us to our next point, that not only is God with us on the mountaintop, but God is with us when we're in the valley. The valley could be anything, anything that brings you to a low point where you've hit rock bottom and you're just like, what's even going on with my life right now? It could be tension in the home, family strife and parents fighting, grades dropping, um, anything like that that's significantly hurting you in a negative way. So Psalm 23 says, even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid for you are close behind me. So we know that even in the darkest times that God is still with us. God is going to be with you in the best of times and God is going to be with you in the worst of times. I know in my personal life, I've experienced the dark times and God was still with me. But if you choose not to acknowledge him, if you choose not to focus on God, 
then you're going to completely miss what he has for you. Make sure you focus on God at all times. He will get you through the storms. He will get you through the dark times in your life. And he will be with you to celebrate you in the good times. You get to know God and enjoy God on the mountaintop when things are going great. You get to enjoy his love and his character, who he is. But you get to know God intimately when you're in the valley, when things aren't going so well. You get to know him intimately. We just encourage you to continue to seek God no matter where you are in life, no matter what stage you're at in life. Because it's so easy to sense the presence of God when things are going good, but it's really hard to sense that presence when things aren't going well. If you don't rely on God's strength to get you through the hard times, then what you have is all you have. What that means is that if we're not relying on God to get us through these hard times, then we're relying on ourselves. And that's not going to get us very far. We need God's strength to get us through these hard times. When we're feeling frustrated or hopeless during this quarantine, as I know I have felt that way many times, um, we need to rely on the strength of God to get us through even the next hour of quarantine, the next hour of sitting through another dinner with our family or another Zoom meeting for school. We need His strength to get us through those things because those are the hard times we're going through right now. If your family's experiencing a lot of tension or your parents are stressed or your siblings are arguing with you a lot and you guys just can't get along. Rely on God's strength, rely on his patience, rely on his love. That will get you through the rest of this quarantine. When you find yourself in your greatest frustration is often when you are on the edge of your next breakthrough. Wow, that's a powerful statement right there. When you find yourself in your greatest frustration, whatever is frustrating you the most right now, you are right there. You're right on the edge of your next breakthrough. So I'm gonna pray for you guys, wherever you are at, you're at, if you're able to close your eyes, bow your head, we're gonna to talk to God for a minute. Dear Jesus, thank you for this quarantine. Thank you for this time in our lives where we get to slow down and pay more attention to you. I pray that as we go through the rest of this quarantine that you would show us what you're trying to teach us during this season of rest. I pray for any families that are struggling financially, emotionally, if there's any tension in the homes, God, I pray that you would be present. I pray that we would realize the name of Emmanuel, which is that you are with us wherever we are, even if we're in our rooms, even if we're at the dinner table, even if we're on Zoom, God, we carry your presence with us. I pray that reality would be real to us, God. Thank you so much that we can still connect virtually, even if it's just over Instagram. I pray a blessing over these students and their families, and I just pray that you would continue to heal those that have um, the virus right now, God. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you guys once again for joining us. Share this with your friends and family, like we said. Help us reach those that uh, haven't been able to connect or anything like that. So make sure you share this, post this on your stories, whatever it is, DM it to someone. It doesn't matter. Just get it out there. So we hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks.